when you make a music all the time, certain stuff, you make certain stuff and then it sits there and it kind of percolates for months and months and months. But it's always there and it's always going, don't forget about me. Like, when are you going to put me on an album? But I have a problem with, I, you know, if I'm going to write something, I need to move forward. You know what I mean? So to have things on the shelf whispering to me like that, it's like, no. So that the 199 thing was a way for me to be like, I like this stuff. I'd like to share it. I don't really know how. I might as well just give it all at the same time. So I think there's a part, part of it is that. Um, part of it, I think, is just kind of playing with the, um, the concept of, uh, uh, um, of releasing music. Because even releasing music now, I think, too, is kind of funny the way that people are making music for TikTok or really short songs or this or that or the other thing. There's like 9,000 writers on like a pop song that's very single-driven. So I was like, well, I'm going to put out like, you know, nine hours and uh, not, most of it won't have song titles. It'll just have dates. Yeah, it's like one of those um, when you look in the mirror and you try and draw yourself. Kind of looks like me. You can tell I have the mole. It's above one of the eyes there, but it kind of got a little crunched. But uh, but yeah, I think that it's an apt, uh, nice. Th you know, it's a self-portrait, and that's essentially what One Wayne G is. Is you know, five years of me. Haven't had any nicotine in about. Uh, a little over a year now, I think. And you just did it like cold turkey, right? I did it, well, on the Five Easy Hot Dogs yeah. trip. I did it, I was driving from New York to uh, Salt Lake City, and it was a horrible drive. But, uh, yeah, I did that, and um, now I don't do caffeine either. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, and I'm only, I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying, I'm, I'm becoming, you know, I'm becoming a, kind of, yeah. But freedom. It's not about being straight. It's about being free. Mm, yeah, I want to be... Uh, I'm going to acupuncture. He says no cold foods. So there's not going to be any more cold foods. No cold water. Only hot water. And steak. I'm enjoying uh, this kind of... Here, here's my, my take with, with all... I mean, with my journey with sobriety or, or whatever. I don't know. Journey. That sounds a bit weird. I'm not like the most like sober guy, sober guy. But I think... Um, I don't like being beholden... To things like that, you know, as humans, what do we already? We gotta have water. You gotta have shelter. You gotta have food. That's enough things to be trapped by. You know, I don't want to be trapped by alcohol. I don't want to be trapped by it's the cigarettes. The real thing is that I quit the cigarettes and started vaping. That's a problem. What about Marlboro Reds, you get them any. You get a little town in China somewhere. They're gonna have Marlboro Reds. You know, Jewel. Mm -mm -mm. I remember I crossed into Canada and everyone was like, "Wow, you have a Jewel. That's so rare and interesting." I was like, "No." You know, I don't want that. I want um, ease of uh, ease of life, which is, you know, all I need is that air I breathe and hot water, mm -hmm. no cold water.